Hi, welcome to another video. This one's going to be about fonts. Now, whilst I'm grateful to Microelectronica for their software and their font creator, for many of you, and certainly all the uh, Microelectronica PIC users, and I've seen Arduino users too, we suffer with a big problem, which is just coming up that the one has just written over the zero. I've analysed the numbers in the fonts and the, all the numbers, whether it's a zero, one, two to nine, they're all the same size. If you come along and fill that same space with the same number of pixels, it would automatically blank it. So either the code optimization in the compiler is creating errors or how can I say without being ungrateful, the compiler is lazy. This should not happen, and this, treat this, this is a, a Midas OLED display I demonstrated the other week, and this is effectively a colour TFT, and I'm using 8-bit parallel port, treat it as a colour TFT, no difference at all. When I was demonstrating this the other week, I demonstrated a clock, and I couldn't believe I had to put in a delay to stop the time flickering. And you can see here, it's less noticeable on the smaller characters. That's the seconds, and I'm having to write the seconds, then half a second later, blank it in the background colour before writing it again. And this isn't even a colour one, you know. So I was looking into this problem. And if you draw your own font and write it in the right place in the memory, you don't get this error. Uh, and checking the fonts and the individual digits, the fonts are correct. So it's either could be the compiler creating errors or the compiler, software behind the compiler, they're being lazy and not doing a proper job. Now this display, as I said the other week, you can have a 4-bit grayscale or swap the mode in the display and you can have a byte will equal 8 pixels. Now it makes the display harder to use because of instead of 128 across, uh, one of these characters would start at 0 and this last character would be at position 12. So it's more difficult to use but it's easier to create your own fonts. Let me show you. This is programming now. I've changed the format for the display orientation and is it coming up? And this is the same size font, but I've drawn every individual line and mapped it to the memory accordingly. So I've not finished it, I've got to do the letters and you know, the day, date, that sort of stuff. But look, there's no delay here now, and it's not flickering. And see so this, this number here, obviously the seconds, but that seven just overwrote the six, the zero overwrote the nine. If you fill each space with the same number of pixels, you don't have to blank the previous one because you're writing the whole lot again. And it's not like Microelectronica software are writing less pixels, say for a one compared to an eight, than not. It's the same number of pixels, or certainly in the font. So either someone's being lazy or something's creating an error, or we've not been told how to use their fonts correctly. Uh, I thought maybe it's just me and a couple of friends uh, with uh, Microelectronica software, but I've, I've seen Arduino suffer from it too. So Arduinos are the same. They're not using their fonts correctly. So there's no delay here. The screen's refreshing at many times a second but there, you can see there was no flicker. Or well, maybe you can see a flicker on this camera, I'm not sure. If you can, then it's just the scanning of the camera versus the screen. But this is to illustrate, if you use the fonts correctly, map them to the same place in the graphic memory, you don't have an issue with having to display the number for a while, then blank it. I 
I'll show you the code and if you think it's long-winded that code is what the compiler is doing in the background you cannot write like a 1 straight to the display you have to map it to the memory and depending on the scan direction and uh, like vertical horizontal you have to either map each vertical line or each horizontal line and put the memory back to where it started for the next line there's no getting around that that's the way you control these displays so it looks like a ton of code when you see it but the compiler does it for you usually but if you rely on the compilers and the IDEs you end up with a bug of having to blank the numbers and putting a delay in there is bad I mean all the time there's a delay the microcontroller can't go off and do something else Right, so here's some code. I'm using this project, Microelectronica's MicroC Pro for PIC. I've got the PIC 18F27K40 or 42. That's another saga in itself. Yeah, but we'll not go into that. I've slowed the clock down to 8 megs. It used to be at 64. So here's a set display. And I referred, I jump to this after drawing each line of pixels. So it's the SSD 1327, and you can see there's a start column. I'll set the column address. That's a start, which is defined by the exposition. End column, you don't have to worry about the end. The set the row address with your Y position, and then the end row. These are the two you have to worry about on this chip in the particular mode I'm using. And it literally draws one line of pixels, puts the memory back to where it was uh, horizontally, and drops it down one row vertically, then draws the next row of pixels. And just to give you an example, here's the writing the character zero, number the number naught. You see they're set display, so I'm setting the X and Y position in the display function above. And this is the first line of pixels, and it's done in two bytes. So you can see here we've got a 0, 0, 0, 0, over here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pixels. So we've got 4 here, then another 1 on the next line, and then nothing. And then we increment the Y position, set the display again, the display would have incremented to the right and down one, but so we just set it back left to the starting position and do the next line of pixels. So that's the naught, and you can see set display, set display, set display, there's a lot of copying and pasting. So there's a zero. There's a space above. The space is, you can see they're all blanks, so easy to put hexadecimal. Couldn't be bothered to convert these to hex, but if I converted these to hex, you wouldn't understand what's going on. Having them binary, you can see what's going on. So, say this is zero. If I scroll down to the bottom, so you might wonder see the set display that function that keeps them jumping to the top. I initially, if I scroll down to the number 9, well here's the 9, and you can see it looks a right mess. So there's the Y position, so chip select, and that's where I'm setting the memory address for the chip. Be identical to the like, colour TFT, just have to you know map the different addresses depending on the scan direction on your display. Then write the data to the position. Then look, increase the Y position by once I come down. Set the X and Y back to the to the beginning. And down next pixel, next pixel. And so so this particular font is 13 wide by 20 deep. So I had to do that 20 times. So when I was doing this code, I thought is it quicker to just 
set up that function so I don't have to keep on copying and pasting this bit here. And so I was thinking, and I was right, if you make this into a function, the microcontroller has to go and jump and go and find it. So that effectively creates another position in the stack. And I can prove that. If I come up to here, down to function tree, I think it is. Find my fonts, initialize display. Need to find my fonts. Right, here's a six. First, right, here's the eight. Right, set index. Well, if I go, no, if I go start with a nine, so this is all my code started like this. That's setting the index for the TFT. And you can see we've got current depth three, maximum stack depth four, and I'm calling it 12 times. So you see, to set the index, you're having an extra jump routine in there because of that function. Whereas in the number nine, I haven't got it. I've defined it all here. So in one way, you could say this code is more efficient, but boy, does it make it look a mess. And then if you're worried about stacks, I mean, in the old days, well, as far as I know, the I think the 887 had uh, a maximum of eight. Um, eight bits deep or uh, eight stack levels this 18f series microcontroller has got 31 so the stacks must be put in there for a reason to make you know to optimize our code maybe i don't know but anyway so with having 31 stacks having to jump isn't a problem uh, what i do wonder is how long this would take to run compared to having this and having to jump and go and get it. Don't know. And the debugger doesn't work on this microcontroller, so I can't test it. Anyway, so they're the fonts. I've drawn every single character, well, it's, it's actually only 0 to 9 plus the space, and I'm putting the number in the location in the memory. And then when a new number comes along, it's exactly the same size. It just writes over the top. So you go back to this pixel here. If you pick out the number one, this is the same size block. See down the bottom here, 13 by 20. If you write that number of pixels over the top of that, you should clear all this. So why do the compilers, or why does my software not do it for you? Is it just me? I don't know. Uh, I know it's not just me because I've seen Arduino people suffer with it too. Uh, and we shouldn't have to, not if it's done correctly. So is it, what is it, errors or someone being lazy? I don't want to sound ungrateful because I've learned a lot with microelectronica software, but using their fonts to draw numbers, oh my God, what a headache. So here's another routine, just emphasise in fact you can have nice static characters and they can change. Obviously if you want to blank where they've been, then you have to blank it. So before I go, I'll leave you with a counter. But I welcome your feedback. Uh, is it just microelectronica users uh, and Arduino users, or did microchip suffer with the same problem using their compiler? Uh, I doubt it, but maybe they do. Uh, who else suffers with that problem? Uh, anyway, that's how you overcome that problem. Uh, draw your own font and put it into the memory where you want it. Obviously, the font has got to be the same size as the one you're writing over. Yeah, so give us some feedback, leave some comments. Thank you very much.